Using a password manager is essential to protecting your online data. But if you don't know these important things before using a password manager, you may not be protecting your accounts like you think you are. So here are five things you need to know before using a password manager. The first thing you need to know before using a password manager is that you should avoid password managers that are built into your devices or browser. While using iCloud Keychain or Google Password Manager is certainly better than not using a password manager at all, these systems cannot be accessed on all device types and lack security features. If you're using Google Password Manager, you can only access it on Chrome and Android devices, and if you're using iCloud Keychain, you can only access it on Apple devices. What happens if you have an iPhone and a Windows PC, or an Android phone and a Mac? In addition to poor compatibility, these password managers lack common security features like requiring you to re-authenticate and log into your vault again if you've been inactive for a while. If someone gains access to your computer remotely or access to your Google account using common methods like browser session hijacking, they then have access to all of your passwords in Google Password Manager. Because of this, I recommend using a reputable third-party password manager. I've got some recommendations I'll list at the end of the video. The second thing to know before you using a password manager is that it's critical to have a strong master password and use two-factor authentication. The whole point of a password manager is to increase your account security by using unique, randomly generated passwords for every account. But the biggest con to using a password manager is the fact that all of your passwords are centralized and accessible in one place. This means you absolutely have to protect your vault. This is not the time to use password123 or your dog's name as your master password to protect your vault. It does need to be something you can remember, but it also needs to be strong. I recommend using a four to five word passphrase with spaces in between each word. You can also use capital letters, numbers, and symbols if you want to be extra secure. You also want to set up two-factor authentication to protect your vault. I know 2FA is a pain, but again, you don't want to mess around when it comes to your vault security. Also, don't trust emails or SMS codes as a valid method of two-factor authentication. At a minimum, you want to use an app authenticator like Google Authenticator or Authy, but I would honestly recommend recommend investing in a hardware security key like a YubiKey for maximum protection. Another way to improve your online security is by clicking that subscribe button and hitting the bell. It's totally free and you'll be the first to hear new security tips when I release new videos. The third thing to know before using a password manager is that you need to have an emergency access plan. Remember that all of your account passwords are stored in your password manager, so you absolutely need to maintain access to your vault at all times. In the event that you forget your password, you need a process in place to regain access to your vault. There is no forgot password button on password managers, so maybe that looks like writing down your master password on a piece of paper and storing it in a safe. Different password managers have different emergency access features built in, and many password managers like LastPass and Bitwarden require you to upgrade to the paid version to utilize them. These built-in features often assist you with having a legacy plan as well. I know that's something that no one wants to think about, but take Take some time to put a plan together. It's important that your spouse or family members can gain access to your accounts after you pass away. It's going to be much easier for them if they have access to your vault rather than having to go through a long, complicated process with each individual account if they don't have the password. I would recommend either including your password manager login on a document that's stored in a safe or utilizing one of the built-in emergency access features and various password managers that can help chosen family members gain access to your vault under the right conditions. The fourth thing to know is that you should never treat your password manager as a bulletproof solution for account security. It's tempting to think that if you use unique, randomly generated passwords on each account, that all of your accounts are rock solid secure and you don't have to do anything else to protect yourself. Unfortunately, even randomly generated passwords can be cracked and it's still important to take extra security measures on critical accounts. I would strongly suggest setting up two-factor authentication on your email address, bank accounts, social media accounts, and any other accounts that are very important to you. Using randomly generated passwords certainly helps beef up your account security, but using two-factor authentication is another step that makes things even more secure. It's worth noting that some password managers allow you to generate two-factor authentication codes directly in your vault. 
However, I would recommend using a third-party solution like Authy or Google Authenticator. That way, if someone were to get into your password manager, they still don't have that two-factor authentication code required to log into the appropriate website. It pays to not have all your eggs in the same basket. And the fifth thing to know before using a password manager is that you need to choose the right password manager. It's so important to understand if the password manager you choose is even trustworthy. You don't have to be a cybersecurity expert to do some quick research on your chosen password manager's reputation. Certain password managers, LastPass, have a poor reputation for protecting user data, and a quick Google search reveals that. In a recent security incident, hackers gained access to users' password vaults. Hackers would still have to guess each user's master password to gain access to their vault, but since they're able to access the vault files directly, they can try as many passwords as they want offline and bypass any two-factor authentication that the user may have set up. A potential link was made between this data breach and over $35 million in stolen cryptocurrency. So it looks like these vaults are starting to get cracked. Password managers like 1Password have a much stronger security architecture. 1Password uses a secret key that's randomly generated and is required in addition to a user's master password to decrypt the vault. The secret key is not stored on 1Password servers, so in the event of LastPass, even if someone had a weak master password that a hacker was able to easily guess, they still would not be able to access that vault without something like the 1Password secret key. This this video isn't sponsored by 1Password, but they are the password manager that I use and trust for both my personal and business accounts. So if you're wondering which password managers I recommend, I would use Bitwarden if you need a free password manager, and 1Password is my password manager of choice. But I've got an entire video comparing the top password managers that you can check out here.